So here we have what's called a catch-up rate question. Now with a catch-up rate question, like many of our rate questions, we are going to use a very specific formula. Now that formula is simply distance one equals distance two. Now this formula is going to play a role towards the end of the problem after we fill in our table. So for now, let's just start by labeling our table. We know that we have a rate in the first column, then a time, and then a distance. And as you slowly glance at the problem itself, we know we're dealing with two people, Tom, and Sandra. So let's read through the question so we know where to begin. It says from point A, Tom begins running at a constant rate of eight miles per hour. Sandra starts running from the same location a half an hour later and runs at a constant rate of 12 miles per hour. If Sandra runs on the same path as Tom, how long will it take for Sandra to catch up with Tom? So what we know here is that um, Tom is running at 8 miles per hour, and we have Sandra who's running at 12 miles per hour. So clearly the first thing we want to do here is, of course, fill in our rates. Now, here's the interesting thing, and this is where most students struggle. It's with the time in these questions. Now, it's saying that Tom begins running, and then Sandra starts running a half an hour later, meaning she's leaving later. So by the time Sandra catches Tom, it's quite clear that he will, be have, he will have been running for 30 minutes more, or in other words, a half an hour more. So if we label Sandra's time as X and Tom as X plus one half, well, what that means is we now have both of their times and notice we only have one variable for our times. Now, here's the best part. Rate times time equals distance. So we have Tom's distance as 8 times x plus 1 half, which in other words is 8x plus 4. And then Sandra's distance simply at 12x. Now, we can say 8x plus 4 equals 12x. Why are we doing this? Well, at the beginning, I had mentioned that distance 1 equals distance 2 in these types of problems, since Tom's distance is 8x plus 4 and Sandra's distance is 12x. Those are our two distances. And now the best part is we have an easy equation. We bring the 8x over from the left to the right, giving us 4 equals 4x. Divide both sides by 4x is 1. Keep in mind the rate originated in miles per hour, which means the x stands for one hour. So if we take this and we go to Sandra's time box, well, we see that the time it took for Sandra to catch up to time, to Tom, excuse me, was one hour.